Hey everybody. Okay, so we're making lip gloss today. Okay, so what we're gonna need is we're gonna need boiling water. You don't put just a whole lot in there. And we're gonna, I've had this up on high, so now I'm gonna turn them down on low so that they won't be so blasted hot. Uh, you're gonna need some Essential Depot organic coconut oil, a box of Crayola crayons, a cutting board, measuring spoons, knife, uh, either an exacto knife or a household sharp knife. Uh, you could possibly even use um, one of these kind of things for cutting. We're gonna need some paper towels and we're gonna need some alcohol. <clears throat> oh, I forgot one of the ingredients. I'll be right back. We're gonna need Essential Depot's Peppermint Essential Oil and a dropper. <clears throat> All right, so I'm gonna sit that up there because we won't need that for a bit. Okay, now these are lip gloss containers or lip balm containers. We sell these in the store and I got an extra bag just in case. Um, and we're gonna set our containers out. Make sure your hands are very clean and you've cleaned your surfaces uh, because people, which would be me at the moment, are going to be putting their hands in here and then rubbing their mouth. All right, so we're gonna mist those down. I'm gonna sit them aside for them to air dry, but if they're not fully dry, that's one of the things the paper towels come in handy for. All right, so now we're gonna pick our colors. Okay, so I found this one that I'm really fond of, or actually a couple I'm sort of fond of. I like um, opaque colors, but there's all different colors in here, and you can blend them, which is really fun. Now, I'm told, I have I just saw this and thought I'd try it, but you just take your, not, your X-Acto knife and go across there, and then the paper comes off much easier, I am told. I didn't get um, deep enough. And it seems Crayolas are double wrapped. There we go. So <clears throat> that is one of the ways you can do it. So I'm gonna take this, um, oh, let's see what color it is. Salmon, salmon, salmon. And I'm going to take it now and I'm going to set it down in my boiling water. And those are, are um, like little custard containers. Um, and then another one I wanted to do was I wanted to do a blend of uh, lavender and marvelous <laughs> and you can also just find where the seam is and you can scratch at it and then you can sit and just peel it down like this and especially if you've got children involved because this is a great little you know for your young girls this is a great way um, you know to have a fun DIY uh, Saturday activity and so you can peel that off and, and then if they get stuck you can take just a regular household knife and just barely restart a place for you to peel from and just keep peeling like that and so I'm going to put that one and I'm going to go ahead and use the exacto knife please be careful you can slice your finger really bad with those things all right so that right there is our starting point. Okay. And, ooh, I forgot something else I need. Mm -hmm. You can also use vodka and 
and I'm gonna alcohol it. And the biggest problem is getting it out of the boiling water without burning yourself. So if you're letting children do this, please do this part for them. Okay, so that was my cutting board. You saw how well I used that. There's a little bit, there we go. There was just a little bit of a piece that wasn't fully um, melted. Paper towel to the rescue. All right, and so now we are gonna use one half There we go. One half teaspoon of Essential Depot's organic coconut oil. Now, you can put one half teaspoon to two crayon. I mean, excuse me. You can put a half a teaspoon of coconut oil and a half a teaspoon of olive oil or a half a teaspoon of coconut oil and a half a teaspoon of Vaseline. <clears throat> I don't recommend the Vaseline. You're gonna get a very greasy feel. Uh, you can use a half a teaspoon of uh, coconut oil and a half a teaspoon of olive oil. But if you want a less greasy, make sure it's, it's bearable. go and so now we can take and you could have done this in there and we're going to drop one two drops of peppermint essential oil in there and you're going to blend it up think some chopsticks from the Chinese takeaway would be very nice about now. <laughs> oh wait. But then it is easy to clean. You just take your paper towel and wipe everything away and take the outside of your container and just wipe it away and set it aside and <clears throat> that one wasn't very pretty put the peppermint in in the bowl all right so now i'm gonna clean this and remember this can be very hot so you've got to be really careful if you're doing this with young children because sometimes they don't realize how hot something is or can be all right so it's very easy to clean up okay so now let's get that second one out. All right. And we're gonna go ahead and put our peppermint in there. One, two, three, because I put two crayons in this one. I'm not sure how many containers it's gonna fill. And now this one is the less greasy, less, less greasy. So, we're going to put in one half teaspoon of coconut oil. And you can also put the coconut oil in when it's on the stove. And then we're just stirring it until it's all melted and blended. Ooh, this is going to be a nice color. I like this one. All right, and then we're gonna, and the alcohol just, it just evaporated in minutes while I was melting the first one. I think that would have just filled one. I haven't worked with these containers before. So, there we go. All right, so two crayons fills those containers up well. And I believe those are a fourth of an ounce containers. You're gonna use a lot of paper towels.
And then same thing. Clean up is a breeze. And boom. Chalaka. Okay, so on this one. I haven't used lip gloss in ages. And I definitely had a mirror. <laughs> Mmm, the peppermint is really nice. I don't know if I got that on good, but I think that's going to be my favorite color. Okay, so let's just do one more. Um, now, this is the less greasy formula. As I said, one crayon, one half teaspoon coconut oil, one half teaspoon olive oil, or one crayon, one half teaspoon coconut oil, one half teaspoon uh, Vaseline, is another one and so uh, for a more opaque color that is more covering and not as greasy feeling it's just one half teaspoon coconut oil to either one or two crayons you'll have to decide what you like um, but you can make really fun ones like you can make black and a friend of mine is in to black so I am going to make her a black one. I only see one black crayon. I wish I had two. Okay. So, now for my friend, I'm going to make her some black peppermint lip gloss. And what we really need is we need the ability to buy these from Crayola by the color. Like, let's get a whole box of black, you know, or a whole box of the ones we want. <laughs> I doubt they'll let us do that. Mm. And one of the reasons um, that we know that it's okay to use the Crayola color cray crayons is because they're non-toxic and people can eat them. You know, kids can put these in their mouth and eat them and nobody's going to die. They might not go to the bathroom really well or something for maybe a while if they eat too many because they're wax coated. But they are non-toxic. So they won't make you sick. And I know I've seen little teeth marks. I'm telling you this black one is fighting me tooth and nail. Uh, I've seen black tooth I mean, <laughs> black tooth marks. I've seen tooth marks in crayons a many a time <laughs> at my house when my kids were growing up. There's just something about these things. People think they should, the kids think they, they, they should be good enough to eat. Okay. So, I'm going to turn up the eye on that one a little bit. And I'm going to put the black one in there. And I'm going to see about putting the coconut in right now. I mean, that sounds like the way to go to me. Just go ahead and put the coconut in. And now remember, that's one half teaspoon or one teaspoon, depending on how oily you want your product. I think I'm going to really like that one. Okay, so here's the black crayon, and I've turned that one up on high, so I'm going to put that in there, put the lid on it, assume it's going to do its thing. Alright, and then I think that, a, mm, <laughs> I wonder, can you pull these little trays, oh, you can pull the trays out been too long since I had kiddos. Little ones at my house, you know? All right, so let's see. Oh, this burgundy, let's see what color it says it is. Where's my glasses? Red violet. That would make a nice one. And Oh, I'm into pinks and things. This pink one would make a nice one. I was looking to see if they had like a purple purple. Um, and it 
it would be really nice too to find something that sit right in the middle that would break it apart that you could pull out later and have two colors in the same tin so you could mix them or not up to you so here is a purple color that's a nice purple color and then that's a nice red I think I'll do a mixture between the red and the the red violet so I'm gonna mix these two together so same thing we're gonna hopefully not cut our fingers off please be careful if you're using an exacto knife keep the exacto knife ahead of your fingers Okay, time to turn that back down to low because I can hear it going, having a little rock and roll experiment in there. And the peppermint feels tingly and it makes it taste nice. I like it. But you could use other essential oils that are food grade if you wanted. therapeutic organic grade if you look on several websites now they're now selling essential oils as colorant I mean as flavorants um, almost every website you go to when you put like lip gloss flavorants in a search and you go to the website it's essential oils mostly but you could also use like a vanilla extract You could use vanilla extract. Um, you could use any kind of extract in your baking section. Uh, that would be a, a nice uh, one to use. Or you can do these unscented, completely unscented. So we're t putting our red violet and our red in here. And um, I'm going to try one now with two teas uh, a whole teaspoon of organic coconut oil. All right. And we'll put this one in here and turn it up on high. And I think the other one's done gotta clean my hands so oh she's gonna like the black she's gonna like the black I can tell you she's gonna like the black and so we just get her a little container here and I'm gonna do the peppermint again uh, I think two drops per crayon seems to be adequate and remember the recipes fluctuate if you want a glossier thinner it's two which so that's what this one's going to be this one's going to be more of a sheen gloss not as opaque colored And so there is my friend, a black one. She gonna like that. Okay, and I made it with a whole teaspoon of coconut oil, but you can use half a teaspoon of coconut oil, half a teaspoon of olive oil, you can use half a teaspoon of coconut oil and a half a teaspoon of Vaseline, although I don't recommend that one. 
and we're just gonna clean that up as long as you wipe it out like this then you can take it to the sink and just wash it with hot water and you're fine but if you let that harden up in your dish it can be a little harder later to clean it up so that one's still going all right so this one here mm -mm. very nice let's see the difference I know I probably look terrible I just keep putting these on but I'm, I'm trying to feel which feel I like better um I like the one half teaspoon I like the one half teaspoon per crayon the one teaspoon per two crayons. I'm just getting a little bit on my finger. So that's not quite as good. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take my spoon. I, you know, I thought this would hold, uh, it would cover two crayons would fill two of them, but two crayons is not filling two of them. So, and, and you know, one teaspoon of coconut oil to two crayons was highly recommended online, but it is not, I repeat, it is not um, got a nice feel to it. Now this one's mine, so you know, I'm scraping up some pieces from that other one and putting it there. But that's okay because it's just for my use. But please be sanitary, especially if you're planning on selling this to anybody. And, and I'm going to put another half a teaspoon of coconut oil on the top of this dish. And I'm going to set it inside of one of these. And I'm going to put it right there. And I'm gonna remelt it. So let me clean. And the peppermint feels really nice and tingly. And I know I had gobs on. <laughs> I'll put it on at the end of the video, I'll let you see what it really looks like. Now I don't remember how much coconut I put in here. I don't know if I put one or two. I think I put two. We'll turn that up down low. Oh. Oh, this is a nice color. I think my friend's gonna like this one very much. This will be her color. She's, she wears black hair. And so, this has got two crayons in it. Where'd my dropper go? I didn't drop you down. Did I drop you down there? No. Okay, where's my dropper? Oh, you guys probably know where it's at. You probably saw me put it wherever it went that it shouldn't have went. Aha! I found it. I know you tried to hide it. <laughs> One, two, three, four. So now we're going to just stir it and pray that I did the two teaspoon one on this one. <laughs> and oh, I spilled it. And it was burning my finger. Okay. So there's your, t yeah, that's definitely perfect in my opinion. Two teaspoons. Uh, I mean, one teaspoon of coconut oil to two crayons, perfect. Uh, just perfect. Yeah. 
this one's boiling. I'll just put it in there. Okay, so I've made some fun colors. Now, another thing you could do for fun is we've got one of them in here. I wonder if the second one would melt that one if you could put like two colors in there. Ooh, that would be fun. So here's a real pretty one. Here is Tickle Me Pink. Oh, that sounds like my kind of tickle right there. Tickle Me Pink. I know, I'm not cleaning that one out, but we can't have our videos taking forever. I'll clean it out in a minute. Please keep your fingers back away from where you're cutting on the crayon. And off she goes. Tickle me pink. And mm, it's hardened. It, it won't come out in there. So so one teaspoon, one half teaspoon of coconut oil per crayon is my fave. All right, this one's coming to a boil. Put that in there. Now let's see if this will work. Now what we're doing is, is, and, and, and this one here, I put it in there to see if it would melt and I could just add all the ingredients. I just add more coconut oil to it right where it sits, so we'll see. This is still quite hot, so while we're waiting, I'll be good and clean up my mess. And I've just got a terrible mess right here. Okay, so that one there is melting. So, I've got this one in the container, inside this container, and it's melted a bit, and I'm trying to blend it all up, and it wasn't completely melted. Um, oof, that stuck. Okay. This one is, and this will be my last one, so I'm gonna cut that one off. And then I'm gonna show you our pretty colors. Okay, so we have coconut oil and one Tickle Me Pink um, lipstick. Remember, you could use a dash of an extract. I think I actually have enough in here. Let's see, one, two. Stir it some more. Oh gosh, that smells good. Uh, you could use orange citrus, lemon citrus, uh, lime. Like you could do green, uh, the green crayon for you know, you know. There's there's people, there's young adults that wear black and poke green things on their lips. I've seen it in my store. Okay. You didn't see that. You didn't see that. Didn't happen. Okay. Okay, so this one looks good to me. It looks finished. Stirring it inside the container. I spilt a little bit of it out of the container so I'm gonna take it out and take my spoon and pour what go what will 
back in there because as you can see at me stirring it while it was in there and I got a little air pocket okay so that will be mine that will be mine I love that one and then these two are for my friend I got a black one and a whoop, I thought it was I thought it was warm <laughs> isn't that just like Kimberly to do something like that so it's a real pretty color see <laughs> so the mauve and the black one will be for my friend and I'm really excited about giving them to her and I now I feel like I have lipstick all over me and and then the mauve and the pink one will be for me. And oh, I was gonna pour one on top of that one and I forgot it. Okay, we gotta do another one. Let's turn it back on high. And let's see, let's see if that, what happens. Just Kimberly forgot. I'm gonna mix carnation pink with Orchid. Oh wait, no, 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 no. I'm gonna try the cornet, the the um, carnation pink, because we have to. I want to put one on top of the salmon color that I did, and see if it will stay solid, or if when I pour this one on it, if it melts and combines the colors. And even if it did. Um, it would be pretty, I think. So, we'll see how that goes. I tell you, they double coat these things. It makes it harder to get them off. This one little area right here where the paper seems to have decided it is not coming off and so I'm scraping it slightly and making little tears in the paper with a knife so that I can get my fingernail under there and do it. So here we go we've got our one crayon and we're putting in one half a teaspoon of coconut oil, which is my favorite pick out of the bunch. Let's see, I've got this on high. Put that in there. Stick that on there. We're gonna cut, oh, yeah, we've got that one off. So this one's on high. And let me clean up my mess. So now we'll see how that works. So we've got this nice um, salmon pink color. It's a salmon pink color. And we're gonna see how it looks. And this one here is really fun. Oh, I can turn that one sideways now. And the black one can go sideways now. And this is the burgundy one that I ended up losing part of it. Um, but since I did, I can try it on. So, while we're waiting for that to happen, I'm going to try it on, and I'm going to come back and show you what it looks like. There you go. <laughs> I don't have any other makeup on, so. Mm. And it feels like lipstick, and it feels very stationary. It feels like that will not be coming off easily. <laughs> okay, so you can see my little coloring <laughs> surface here. And... Uh, this has been out for just like five seconds. So there's two drops of peppermint. I gotta stir it up. Turn that off, you can hear it boiling in the background. Okay, so let's see what happens. No, 
it sits on top. So like once you get down to that color, you'll have a blend for a bit and then you'll have that color. And this one here was my first one and I made a big mess. See, I got, got it all over the side. So this one's not very pretty, but that is so nifty. So here is the black one for my friend. And here is a mauve one for me. And let's see, what was the other one for her? Oh yeah, I'm reheating it because I spilt it to make it flat again. So let's see how that came out. And, um, oop, and you see why we end up with these messes? This stuff just jumps out of there. So see, I just got that one hot again um, so that it would have a flat top. And now I'm gonna set it out. Woohoo, and it's hot. The peppermint may have died. You know how that is. And I'm not gonna try to pour that back in there. I'm just gonna set that over to the side and make my cleanup, but that will then be a nice burgundy for her. She's black haired, so I think she'll like that. And I can take, see, and just clean it up really nice. Sorry, I've got black fingernail, black crayon under my fingernail, guys. All right, and then just put the lid on there and ta-da and you could put a little label on there if you wanted to and uh, this one's mine see just do that see the nice color and that pretty can you see gosh it's so dark I can't see let me time that oh yeah y'all can see good there we go see how pretty that is and so this one's mine so I'm just gonna go ahead and put the cap on it and then I'm gonna clean it. Now you could probably go to Walmart, Dollar Tree, places like that, and you could probably find small plastic containers like this. When you're using the plastic containers, you might have to be careful about how hot your lip gloss is before you do it, because if you don't, you might end up Isn't that pretty? That one's nice and sheer. I like that one. But you can put it on heavier and get heavier color. All right, so you can, um, you might have to watch about temperature because your plastic container might melt. So be really careful about that. And this one here, we gotta wait till it completely melt, I mean completely hardens. We've already made that mistake once <laughs> for my friend. <laughs> Okay, so we got our lipstick done. Remember the recipe. One half teaspoon of coconut oil is my favorite per crayon. If you add more oil, you can have one half teaspoon coconut, one half teaspoon olive oil, or one half teaspoon coconut, one half teaspoon Vaseline. And I guess if you really got down to it, you could just use Vaseline. Um, but Vaseline's gonna have a very glossy texture to it. So if you add Vaseline to it, I really think you're gonna end up with more of a lip gloss than a lipstick. And I was sort of looking for something with a touch more color uh, so that when you rubbed it on, you know, it wasn't just a sheen with a light color. I was looking for something just a touch heavier. Please be careful if you use the Exacto knife. And, uh, have lots of paper towels handy and be really careful with children because this is hot all right bye everybody